that's a compromise, you know. Oh, why you, why, like, like yesterday, why you can't just come over and eat some barbecue? We just cooking barbecue. Hey, we ain't celebrating no Fourth of July. Why you cooking barbecue? You ain't cooking no barbecue today. You ain't cooking no, you cooking no next, next, next week. Cook me some barbecue next, next Tuesday. Right. Or next, next third day. Right. Next fourth day. Right. right? right. right. Ain't no hell of day at all. Right. You know? Cook some, cook some Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving meal on the next Holy Convocation. That's right. Yeah, bring a Thanksgiving meal in. A big turkey, fat turkey, and some, some dressing and some, some uh, cranberry sauce, yeah. whatever. Yams yeah. yeah. and macaroni and cheese and all of this for when? A Holy Convocation. That's right. Not no dang old Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? You will go all the way out, out, out the box for Thanksgiving and then come to our holy days, you're going to give them. Little bit here, there, here, there, but then them days go all the way out. Right. Oh, you know they going all the way out and compromise. Oh, nobody see me. I'm going over there and get some food <laughs> and enjoy the festivities. Right? <laughs> That's us. But do that for our holy convocation. Right. That's think, right. think about when is the next holy convocation? When is the next new moon? And do that for them. That's right. Why it gotta be for day hell of days? That's right. See what I'm saying? Right. Following the way of the devil, man. Because he don't want to set it up. That's his day. We were enslaved. You know, July 4th, 1776. And here we are going all out, man. Yeah. Read on. Because he is born of the Most High. Because he to be born of the Most High. That's born again. Becoming a new creature. You know, being a new man. Following the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. Following what's righteous in the eyes of the Most High. Cause we have we have a kingdom that's man this is this is garbage. Think about this. Everybody look outside. Look out. Everybody look outside right now. Everybody looking outside, right? That's right. All right. Close your eyes. Everybody close their eyes. Now open your eyes again. Everything you see gonna be burnt up. <laughs> and when you go home, you look. You open your eyes. You see everything around you. And whatever you, wherever you go, wherever y'all at on the conference call, you can do the same thing. Because everything you see going to be burnt up. Burnt to Chris. Ain't nobody ever going to live here again. So enjoy this madness as you see it amongst us as you can. That Those that want to. Because every most I going to burn this place forever, say it's going to burn forever and ever and ever. So for you to try and look at it, you're going to do whatever you're going to do to save this place or save yourself in this place. No, no power to you. Because this place, this place is ruled by the devil. Who about the devil? And our people are so programmed that they just lock into whatever it is that's going on. From everything, from fashion to to uh, the BT, the, uh, the, the, the rappers, the, the entertainers, the sports, sports, sports players, all the different things that they have to pacify us, to make money off us, of us. You know, anytime an owner can give a cat $24 million a year, what kind of money they make? You see what I'm saying? You gonna do concerts like I remember? I was, I was uh, Prince was gonna get one million dollars a concert, one million dollars to go out on stage, one million dollars just to hit the stage. And people put it up for him. They put it up for him. But how much money they gonna make? Right. That's the best. You know what I mean? Right. Well, how much money do they make? You know what I mean? <laughs> they can offer that. We talk about mega bucks, man. You know, and that's that's the world we in, man. Verse ten. But see, when you're born again, then you become a new creature. That's right. You become someone that's different. You shine as light and darkness. You know what I mean? You be illuminated. You're like, wow, you're different. You're supposed to be different. But you're supposed to be enjoying what it is that the most high has given us. You know what I mean? If you ain't dealing with the oppressor that's oppressing you, you're supposed to enjoy the fact that the most high thought enough of us to bring us out of darkness, gross darkness, and you say the world is into this marvelous light, man. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. That's why we try to get people to see it, and they don't see it. They don't want to really deal with the amount of time that it takes to get this, man. This ain't something that's going to most likely come down as Sprinkle some dust on you like they got a commercial and all of a sudden now you got it all. No. You gotta study, man. Go ahead. First John chapter 3, verse 10. Right. 
And this, the children of the Most High, are manifest. And this, the children of the Most High, are manifest, read. And the children of the devil. They're the children of the devil. So the devil got children too. That's right. The children of the Most High and the children of the devil are manifest, read. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Whoever don't do righteousness, read. Is not of the Most High. Is not of the Most High. If you don't want to be righteous, you're not of the Most High. That's right. And how you be righteous? Oh. Keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. And having faith in the Mashiach God God, God. Going to the Most High on our behalf. Read. Neither he that loveth not his brother. See? Neither you that don't love each other. You don't love your brother, man. You ain't doing no other most times. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning. This is the message we heard from the beginning, man. From the very beginning. We heard this message, read. That we should love one another. That we should love one another, man. We should love one another. Read. Not as Cain, who was of the that wicked one. Yeah, Cain, who was of that wicked one, read. And slew his brother. Now, he became wicked when he did what? Slew his brother. He was of that wicked one. Ain't like Satan came down and had intercourse with Eve. Nah, that ain't what he's talking about. He allowed Satan to get into his mind. That's right. And see, a lot of times pride can cause you to sin. Nah, nah. And fall, too. Because all Cain had to do was ask Abel for some. That's it. But he said, you're going to accept what I've given you. We can't give the most high whatever we want to give him. We got to give him according to what's written. The things that we have examples of, and we can even pray for, this, for the, the deliverance of him from him, from the things that he has delivered us from in the past. These are examples that we have here for us now. That we can go remember when you know Haman's going to take us down. He wanted to kill all of us during the time of Esther. You know, we fasted and prayed, and you, you delivered us, most high. We cry to you now. Deliver us. We got to be delivered, man. We got to be saved. That's right. From our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. As it says in Luke, you know, 1, 68 to 71. That's being saved. That's being delivered. And we still in their hands. Me? You gotta love your brother though. You, know, you, love, you gotta love each other, read. And wherefore slew he him? Why did he slew him? Read. Because his own works were evil. Because his own works were evil, because there's no risk of sin without the shedding of blood. He brought some dang on crops to the most high. The sacrifice. His own works were evil, read. And his brother's righteous. Because Abel sacrificed the fat to the most high. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. They don't marvel if the world hates you. Don't be concerned about the world hating you. Me? We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. So now, you ain't passing from death unto life if you don't love your brother. Point blank. You got all these problems. You can't get over something. Something happened. You get over it. Let it go. Don't be holding on to things, man. I told you. Brother told me ten years he was holding on to something. Ten. That's a long time, man. You supposed to get us. We just went through it, the order of things, right? We just went through how you do it. You do it. And that's how it's supposed to be done. You follow that order. You won't be wrong. You won't. You'll see there. There'll be a righteous way that it will be done. Me. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. See, he that loveth not his brother abideth how? In death. In death, man. If you don't love each other, you're abiding in death. And that death, you understand, he just said, you're going to cast him into the lake of fire, man, where, the, where it's going to be, be uh, 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 gnashing of teeth, you know, and feeling that pain, man. Read. Verse 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. If you hate your brother, man. You a murderer. You a murderer. Read. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So we have all kind of examples in the Bible that show us, okay, when you do this, ain't going to be your eternal life. You. If 
you don't do this, ain't going to be no eternal life for you. So if you do certain things, he tell you that you ain't going to make it. You're not going to make it. So you might as well go on out there and do be, be, you know, cold. I was going out there and be cold. Because right. you lukewarm. Right. You're like, you, I'm in the truth, but I ain't in the truth. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the truth, but I'm going to do this sin. And I'm going to do this sin. I'm going to do this sin. I'm going to do that. I'm going to lie. I'm going to do this. Ain't no lies going either. So they're going to be outside the kingdom. You know, hopefully not in that lake of fire that's going to be burning. That's without the kingdom. That's not in the kingdom. going to be in the kingdom. Without going to be the lake of fire, you know, all the things that's going to be there that we're going to be hating. You're going to have them by Maria, them carcasses. When we go to our holy convocations, that we're going to see them dead carcasses, you know, that's going to be a hating to us. To keep us in line. That's what he saw, though. He looked at all those things. Man, he got scare tactics. That's why he got those trees lined up. We used to be on them trees, scare tactics. Hanging on the trees, man, lined up one after the other, all roads lead to Rome. Yeah, but he had bodies on there. You know, he tired of saying, we won't give the light to the Gentiles? Okay, tired of feathering them up. Light them light up. Lit us up, man. Our bodies burning for the Colosseum. You, you going in there fighting lion tigers and bears. They had us in there doing that. This was like, and why they got us body, other bodies around and burning, man. Lighting up the Colosseum. Tired of feathering them. So, in front of everybody's gear tactics. I'm going to take a brother and put it. Or a horse on this arm with a rope and a horse on that arm and pull him apart in front of everybody. Take a woman and hang her upside down. This is an oscillator. Hang her upside down and cut, cut the baby out. All are pregnant. You don't know which one they're going to choose. They choose one. Come on. It's the devil. You don't know which one. Just, and Jesus scared you. So the baby inside the woman is scared because she's trembling. She don't know if he's going to choose her or not. But she's pregnant. He said, you. And that's, you know, she come over there, hang her upside down, cut, cut the stomach open, put the fetus come on the ground and stomp it in front of everybody. So what's that doing to the woman and the babies that's inside? You're bringing that fear. They mastered that, you know, the fear they're going to put upon us. That's why, like we see downtown, man, you know, when we see downtown, what happened? With the, with the, the you might come down, which is deal with the mission. You see, everybody ran, they ran to it, they thought about it all oh, yeah. day. The brother said, would have been a brother. Would have made it out. Would have made it out. They would have did. They would have jabbed him up. But it was an Edomite. And they went out. They went out and they thought about it. Everything just went to you. Know? Yeah, absolutely. See what I'm saying? And we see that with our own eyes, man. You know, it's like, you know, brother come back and you just have to exp explain why. You know, that's the spirit of the most high, man. Regardless, you know, it is what it is. It's like, okay, do I want to? You know, you're looking at him, who it is that he right. really defending, and right. he, they, he know him better than we do. Right. You know what I mean? Because who it is that he really gonna, maybe end up going to jail for. Right. But it is what it is, man. You got our people, man. They, they the devil, too. That's right. You know. But we know the main devil is the main devil. <laughs> what color is the devil? Red. Red. That's right. <laughs> So we know who the devil is. You know who the red man is. So, as it is written, God. Right, God. Go ahead. Verse 16. Hereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because He laid down His life for us. So now the Most High laid down His life for us. No. He came down here and laid down His life for us. That's why I say you got to read so you know who it's talking about. Because it says God here, right? Uh -huh. So who is this talking about? Let's read it again. First John chapter 3, verse 16. Here perceive, hereby perceive we the love of a Mashiach Yahweh shot. Because he laid down his life for us. Right, so because people put too much emphasis on G-O-D. But we G O, that's why we went over last night. We guys. Only little Jews, you know what I mean? We got, we have power. He say, anytime he say you're going to do the things, get that in, uh, oh, they get St. John 14 and 12. Anytime he said this, you ain't, you ain't doing this without being a God, or being a power, or having power. You can't do this without no power, and not having no power. Say, could, you, could you press star six? Somebody got a lot of noise in the background noise on the phone conference. Everybody press star six. Oh, I got a mute. So. Can y'all hear the noise? St. John 14 and 12, listen. St. John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that, that 
believe it on me, the works that I do shall he do also. Yeah. He said the works that he's done, we're going to be able to do also. Me? And, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. That's right. He said because he's going to the most high. Greater works. So he's good because he's going to the most high. And he's going to send a comforter that was the spirit of the most high to be able to help us. And whatever we're going to do. You see? That's right. That's why he's saying what he's saying. They're still through the most high. It ain't like we got some kind of superpower without the most high. It's still the most high. Now, give me uh, Ecclesiastes, the fourth chapter. Now, before that, give me uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. Chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do anything against the truth. The reading, the reading. Uh, Shalakia. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Yeah. We can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Get our Psalms 119, 142. We do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Psalm, Psalm, chapter 119, verse 142. This defines the truth. Read. The righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read it, read it again. The righteousness. It says no righteousness. Oh, so Thy righteousness. Thy righteousness, read. Is an everlasting righteousness. Is an everlasting righteousness, read. And thy law is the truth. And the law is the truth. So now we know the law is the truth. That's why when you look at a Mashiach of Shai saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he's the way to follow the law that's going to lead to everlasting life. Now, get Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, the fourth chapter, and let's read 25. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4, verse 25. In no wise speak against the truth. Yeah, in no wise speak against the truth. Read. But be abashed abased. of and be abased of the error of thine ignorance. Right. You gotta be humble. To the point to realize that you are speaking against the most high's rules and regulations. Huh. But he'll tell you the minute you gotta follow the law of the land. <laughs> but he said you better be a base of the error of thine ignorance, not knowing. Not knowing really what's right from wrong. That's what he's saying. In no way speak against the laws of the most high. But be a base of the error of thine ignorance, not knowing. You err, you in error. Verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. Say strive for the truth unto death, read. And and the most high shall fight for thee. Right. So you can't ask for more than that. That's right. It says strive for the truth unto death. And the most high gonna fight for you. Man, and a Masiak that was something going to fight for. Time, time. Yeah. That's right. Let's read uh, Revelation 14 and 12. Revelation 14 and 12. Revelation, chapter 14, verse 12. We got to keep striving, man. We got to strive 
to do what's right. Uh, read. Here is the patience of the saints. Just the patience of the saints. You are the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and of the faith of Mashiach Yahawashah. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Mashiach Yahawashah. And that's what we're supposed to pick right here. So the devil has no power over us. We're supposed to know his wiles and his wickedness and how he's trying to bring forth whatever he's trying to bring forth. Get uh, Romans 9, 13. So you understand. Now before you get there, get uh, so you understand. Some of his tactics that he has done, and we really see it now. Uh, read uh, Revelation 2 and 10. Revelation chapter, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. You know what it said? Say, fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Say, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And who's in prison? Who's mostly in prison? That's your rather. That's the Israelites. That's right. Even Israelites. Read. That ye may be tired. May be tried. Tried. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribula tribulation, tribula tribulation, tribulation, ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. They gonna fight for us, and they gonna give us in the end a crown of life, man. Read. He that hath an ear. Let him hear. You don't have to hear, let him hear. Everybody can hear. Con? Con. Con, go ahead. What the Spirit said unto the churches. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches, to the twelve tribes of Israel. We the church, read. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. You, know you overcome, you make it through the first death, you ain't going to have to deal with the second death. Okay? Uh, read verse 13. Revelation chapter 2, verse 13. I know thy works and where thou thou dwellest, even where Saint sit is, seat is. You say, you say, you know the works and where you dwell, even where Satan's seat is. Read. And thou holdest fast my name. Holdest fast his name. That's why it's very important to really, you know, look at what you've been given in Amashiach, Yahawashah. Holding fast his name because he told Peter, he said, hey, flesh and blood have not been filled this to you. That's why you people have the same name. They just changed from Yahawashah to another name or, or Jesus to another name. But there's only one Amashiach. There's only one the Christ. The anointed, the Messiah. And it, it is, you can't tell me that you got more power saying it in English than you do in, in Hebrew. Hello? Khan, Khan. Because you only have one name, the first part of his name that you see in the Bible, Jesus, but you don't have the anointed, you don't have the Messiah. That's what they asked him. They didn't ask you, whatever name you use, your Oshua or your Shia or, your, or Jesus or your Howard Shia, they didn't ask him that. They asked him, are you who? Mashiach. 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 That's right. Are you a Mashiach? Are you the anointed? Are you the Messiah? Very important, man. You know, I'm just looking at how, you know, he would be a stumbling block and how brothers are using that as a stumbling block, but they're coming back to English mm. to represent a Mashiach. Uh, uh. They would tell me they have more power than me saying a Mashiach. Uh. Come on. I mean, everybody, I mean, at least bring that to the forefront so that brothers can really, whatever, because, you know, he come back with a name that who knows? 
Nobody. Nobody but he himself, right? right. So we can't allow that to, to cause us not to be brothers because we still brother and it's just, come on. We got we to gotta keep it real. I mean, that's very, very important. I mean, it's, it's, it's really important to me as, as the most I showed me that in scripture and, you know, in the spirit to get uh, Matthew 16 and 13 so we see this and we can't see it enough so that maybe somebody will hear it and then they'll come back to it to realize this is very, very important. Matthew chapter 13. Verse 16, chapter 16, verse 13. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. And when Mashiach Yahweh came unto the coast of Caesar, Caesarea, That's Philippi. He came to the coast of Caesarea. Caesarea Philippi. Yes. He asked his, disi <coughs> his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So now, wait a minute. Say, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So now, it's no different than you go back to Exodus 3 and 14. What shall I, what, should, what is his name? What shall I call his name? He gave us a name, right? So he said, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? So are we in the past or are we in the future of the old or the new? We're in the New Testament, right? Right. So we want to know who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Well, my son, <coughs> my child, let's see what it says, right? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. So some people are saying that you John the Baptist, right? Some Elijah. Some Elijah. Now, is he there in the flesh? At this time, Can't talking to them, Can't I'm talking about Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Come, come, come. But you answer, you're the, you're the armor bearer. So you got to learn and learn and pay something. Right. Right. So, So, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is asking them, who do men say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art, no, excuse me, he said, and, and they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. So we have a description of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, right? So John the Baptist has to look like pretty close to him, right? Go ahead. Some Elijah. Some Elijah. So he had to look like a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, read. And others. Jeremiah. So some would say that you're Jeremiah. So that's letting you know that Jeremiah would have to be what? Jeremiah would have to be what? We'd have to be there to say that Mashiach Yahweh Shai is Jeremiah. Huh? He'd have to be what? Very dark man. Very dark but he'd have, he'd have to be what? For them to say that he's, Amashiach Yahushua is Jeremiah, or Elijah. And John the Baptist, he already, been, he already, you know, he chopped his head off. He cut his head off. So it could be John the Baptist, because like, living, you know what I mean? Because John the Baptist was living. He was living, and they chopped his head off. Like they, they put it on the chart. So he said, hey, you John the Baptist. So, you know, or Elijah. Right? Or Jeremiah. So that means what? They would have to, they, these people, these men would have to be what? Dead. Dead. Now he got to be dead and he, he said that that's who he is. Dead and prophesied. Huh? Dead and prophesied. Prophesied. No. Dead, I don't know what that means. Prophesied. Except for, you know, you prophesied about their words and the most I gave them. They had to be the scripture. No, you already had your choice. There's <laughs> a chance. <laughs> Black. We know that we everybody we agree that they would have to be, you know, a very dark skinned man or whatever. It's a Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Work. I'm just saying he's in the flesh. And they, the people say he asked, Whom do men say that I am I the son of man am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some Elijah. And and others, Jeremiah. Read the last part. Or one of the of the prophets. Or one of the prophets. So that means that he would have to be. I guess. No, you already. You, you go ahead. Reincarnated. Yeah, it is. Reincarnated. To regenerate. They, right. These men are dead. These men have been dead. They killed a the prophet, so they can't be that they they also they just rose up and here they are again. Right. No. Right. So the spirit of a Mashiach that was trying to say had to be one of these men. Because they understood this. But a lot of us still today don't believe in that. 
They don't believe in reincarnation. They don't believe in regeneration. They don't believe that the most high takes the spirit from the body, goes back to the most high, and he sends it back to every soul three to four generations. God, God, recycle, God, spirits. Except for those that you blaspheme, you might end up still still in, in a place that the most high has you. You told me to pay, whatever. Whatever he have you in the bitch, you know what I mean? God, God. But uh so that shows you that when I'm saying that they knew about this. You see? Go ahead. He said unto them. Verse 15. Read. Chapter 16, verse 15. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? He said, But whom say you that I am? Who do you say I am? Who do you say what? Whom do you he say what? That I am. That I what? I am. Who? I am. Who? I am. Oh, that's something that's ringing in my ears. Who would I say I am? Who? I am. I am, right? Okay. God, God. Keep that in mind. Okay, go ahead. And Simon Peter answered and said, What did he say? Thou art, art the, the Mashiach. No. Ah, Shalakia. Thou art Hamashiach. Right. Thou art Hamashiach. Read. The son of the living most high. So now, Simon Peter answered and said, he said, whom do, whom do you say that I am? God. Right? God. Then Peter came back and said, thou art Hamashiach, the son of the living power. God. God. Listen what happens now, read. And Mashiach Yahawashai answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Ber Ber Bar Jonah. Bar Jonah. For, fle for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Yeah. So that's something that flesh and blood just can't reveal this to you. You got to see this from the Most High. And how the Most High deal with us now? From the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Come on. Right, so the Holy Spirit, you gotta have the Holy Spirit to see this. So everybody don't have the Holy Spirit. No matter how you, no matter how much knowledge you can memorize scripture, this, that, and the third, whatever you're gonna deal with, everybody don't have the Holy Spirit. But he said, hey, my father, which is in heaven, would have to rebuild this.